What an incredible clip from Jesus to start off today's episode. He's actually sent in two of these absolutely unreal clips. Bailing out of a plane, then Panzerfausting, or in this case, throwing an anti-tank bundle grenade at an incoming plane, and then taking out a second one before hitting the ground. He managed two clips pretty much identical, just incredible stuff. I've never seen somebody do that before on Battlefield. Next up, a clip from Xfinity ML. Now, I've slowed this clip down for you. I'm not really too sure what happens in the background here. He sprays his Type 11 LMG, manages to get a vehicle kill amongst a few other kills as well. Moving over to a bit of Panda Storm from Ymer1. He's playing in this Churchill tank, dropping the mine clearers onto a building and getting a massive multi-kill. Redneck Ranger is next. At the top of Iwo Jima, just round the cave section, you'll often find the enemy team trying to push in. If you're very clever with your dynamite, you can get a multi-kill like this one. Oh my goodness. Pick OSJ is next. This is Alsandan in the Staghound Delta Objective. There are lots of air vehicles on this map, and he manages to work out where they are and take out two with one shot. A really lucky clip. During Pirator, 4 is next. This is Twisted Steel in the Mosquito with the 6-pounder cannon firing into the bridge. Notices there are some enemies. Then the 4,000-pound bathtub bomb gets dropped onto the bridge, bringing a whole load of kills with it. I love that bomb. and I've actually got a video coming out soon taking a closer look at it. It's absolutely insane. Moving on, it's Mastion. This is a long-range tank shot. Aras misses the plane but picks up a kill on something else in the distance. Next up we've got two clips from EXO showcasing some very quick aiming. This is with the Type 2A so I do apologise for that but that was super accurate. The second clip with the Lewis gun once again absolutely sublime aiming. Switching between targets very very quickly. The Lewis gun you can mag dump it without any real penalties. I've slowed that second one down for you just so you can see how he snaps to targets and makes these little adjustments in order to keep on target before eventually dying to the zone. This is going to be a clip from Chicken Beef or Lamb playing on Operation Underground, pushing through. He's actually begging his team to help him as you push through as a player. Sometimes you'll get a couple of kills and no one follows you. It's very, very irritating. He manages to survive though and clear a hole for his team to push into on this part of Operation Underground. Please push out and help me. Miniz is next. Look at this for some sniping accuracy on the Solomon Islands. I don't even know how he spots these people. I've actually slowed it down after this clip plays through. So you can see it's quite a nice sniping clip, but I don't even see... Well, I see the first guy, but then I don't see the following two shots. But he just manages to spot them, line them up, and then finally a nice shot on that running enemy. Alpha Revo is next. A triple with the anti-tank rifle on Fiel. Completely blind. Very awesome. <laughs> Shut up. This episode is sponsored by Instant Gaming. As you know, Instant Gaming have been supporting this channel for quite some time and I'm really glad to have them on board. If you're looking for cheap game keys on the PC, Xbox or PS4, you can find the link in the description down below. Click on that and you can find loads of cool stuff, whether it's a Battlefield game, another FPS game like Escape from Tarkov, or maybe Call of Duty, or potentially something completely different. Maybe you want to pick up a gift for a friend. Check out the link in the description down below. You'll be helping out the channel at the same time. Next up is MFG Dobbin. He's going to be playing on Solomon Islands. He's picked up the Katana and he's going on an absolute rampage through Charlie Objective, just destroying everybody in his way. It's so satisfying when this just lines up and happens. Enemies running at you in the perfect positions as you 
fly around the map like a ninja and just start destroying people like this. He could be doing it with a shotgun, but it's kind of fun to do it with the katana, let's be honest, getting himself a big point stack towards the end of the clip. Hey, here burns everything. Bobby pick the item. Bobby! Bobby! Next up, it's Maxi coming in with another Lewis gun clip, playing on a RAS, pushing up towards Alpha Objective on this backside of it, using the church as his cover here as he just looks for enemy players, getting three to start, and then continuing the clip with a very satisfying flank. A little clip here, maybe? I feel a clip coming up. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No. That was sick, though. Next up is the Great Abroad with two clips on Marita. The first is going to be with what looks like the Type 100. Getting around the side of the building here, if you've ever played this on Breakthrough, it can be very lucrative for these little flanks. This position, as you'll see with these two clips, is really good as enemies look for cover behind the building. The spotting is so strong as you aim and everything gets spotted. He gets well over 2,000 points in that first streak. The second streak is once again a very similar clip, but this time using the M3 grease gun. This thing is, well, it's slow firing, but very powerful, so as long as you're hitting your target and they don't have a Type 2A right in your face, you're going to be very, very good with this weapon. It'll deal out the damage. Unfortunately, it's not a weapon that is any better than the Type 2A, which is a shame. The weapon balance in Battlefield is a bit poor right now. However, this is still a satisfying flank on Alpha with a lot of kills. Next up a Battlefield 1 clip from Thunder, just a short one playing on Foul Fortress with the Farqua Hill. Optical racking up a couple of kills, as you see in the kill feed it's all him. This is such a good game for infantry gameplay if you enjoy those headshot sounds. And also, the Farqua Hill is probably my favourite weapon in the game, just really awesome. Next up is Tiny Cowboy hitting a triple collateral on Aerodrome in the corridor. Moving on, it's Afwerg 2, I think. Not too sure how to pronounce your name, but that was a very lucky clip. About to drop a bomb and a Corsair just floats underneath him and he picks up the kill. Next up, it's Machina Hatab using this squad call-in tank on Solomon Islands. I think it's the Hatchy tank, and it might have a different name on the American side. It's completely broken, this thing, if you've ever used it. Look at this, you just fire across the map. And yes, I do agree it should do a lot of damage, but that is absolutely mad. It will also one-hit an enemy tank with one volley of these rockets, which is pretty crazy. If more people realised how much damage it did, I'm sure we'd see more of them on the battlefield. Next up is Night Stalker 694 with a double in his Kami tank. Two Corsairs taken out in as many seconds. A 
a nice little flank on Solomon Islands from Cubic. I wanted to showcase this clip just to show how strong these HMGs are. The sensitivity seems a bit off for him, but once he manages to dial that in, he starts two tapping enemies on this central Charlie flag. Not sure how to pronounce your name, it's just a load of numbers and letters, maybe Felix, if you just take the letters out of there, but it's a Battlefield 1 clip, first time across the map, look at that for a long range snipe, bang, hits the guy directly, 900 points just for one shot. And finally, we're finishing off with another Battlefield 1 clip, this time using the Model 1900. A very, very fun weapon on Battlefield 1. And of course, his secondary is going to be Lord Obrez. I love that weapon. And I kind of wish it was back in Battlefield 5. I don't know what it is about that gun. It just feels like a bit of a portable hand cannon. But it's very slow to consistently fire. So you have to hit your shot to be successful with it. So as I said, the last clip in today's episode, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. You can also find the players' channels in the description down below. And if you have any clips, make sure you send them in to battlefieldtopplayers at gmail.com for a chance to be featured. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm not moving your heads.